Today I'm painting an Australian Shepherd called Appa. So the colours I'm using today are uh, Lemon Cadmium Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue and Lake Black. So what we're going to do is wet down the darker areas first and then I'm using a mixture of Ultramarine Blue and Lake Black which gives us a dark bluish black and as usual we're just blocking it in making strokes with a largest brush in the direction of the fur just trying to determine that fur shape in the dark areas around the eyes for the eyes I'm using a number one brush and I'm starting with a base coat of lemon cadmium yellow While the base coat of the eyes is drying, I just reinforce the direction of the fur with a thicker mix of the blue-black and a number zero script liner brush. Again, just reinforcing the direction of the fur. Continuing with the eyes now, I wet them down with a little water and then mix in a bit of yellow ochre just around the edges and we're dabbing that in so it mixes with the water we follow that up with some burnt sienna again dabbing around the edges trying to get them to merge together wet on wet And now we dab in a bit of lake black right in the center and let that spread out a bit in order to get the pupil. So just to lighten the bottom of the eyeball, I just use a wet brush with no paint on it just to draw away some of that paint. Adds a bit of light to the bottom part of the eye. Now continue adding hairs with my dark mix while the eyes are drying. We're using the dark mix now to reinforce the black areas around the eye and now the eyes are dry to redraw the pupil with a bit more definition. Using my yellow ochre now to uh, paint in the lighter fur, the golden fur. There's only a couple of patches on this particular dog but they really help give the face character. Now I'm starting in with the opaque white gouache to uh, overlay some highlights. There's, this dog's fur was so shiny that the sun hit it and lit up really well. This also adds a bit of texture to the solid areas of fur and uh, starts to really bring the painting alive. For the nose I used a combination of burnt umber and black to mix up a super black that when it was thinned down came to a sort of a light brown which is a good approximation of the color of this dog's nose. And again we use some opaque white to paint in the highlights and really bring it to life. So I'm adding some yellow ochre now to the uh, lighter patches of fur and really I only tapped in a, a very light mix at the top of the cheek and then blended it all through using water. Um, the fur is very light. And I use a wee few dabs here and there just to show a bit of directionality of the fur and also a very light watery mix of the, the black to uh, get some shape to the contouring under the mouth. But really from now on most of the dog is white so having to just be careful and use a very light touch with very light mixes of paint. Just using a solid mix of the black here to define the shadow under the mouth. So 
So I used a solid mix of the uh, paint and a large brush and quite big strokes for the ears. And uh, it turns out the ears had a bit of brown in them, so I mixed a bit of um, burnt umber into my brown mix for the ears and then just went through and darkened it up where necessary. To add a bit more texture to the ears, I used my opaque white on a uh, filbert grainer brush and uh, that just is really good for dropping in some hairs and some texture. And just finishing up the final details now with a number zero script liner, my favourite sable brush, using solid white and solid black for the whiskers. So there we have it, a lovely picture of an Australian Shepherd. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.